I can put this. I can put it off no longer, Rory. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> um, you got it from. We got. Listen, we have seven episodes left. Uh, let me hit a round of applause. Let me know. You know what I mean? Well, well when Something you say seven that, because a lot of people they 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 hit us in our mentions and they ask, "What does that mean?" So just tell them what that means. Even my own that. mom keeps asking, "What does it yeah. mean?" Just tell them what that means. Do they? Yeah, yeah. Me yeah, and my mom had that conversation. Uh, that's interesting. Over the weekend, that's interesting when you get toward the end of your contract and like have to let keep your mom abreast with things. <laughs> yeah. My mom is into shit she would have never been into. Yeah, that's, that's, that's you. I'm with you. I saw Rogan put up a yeah, post. No, 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 no. I'm with you. My, my mom that is guy very from clear Fear Factor. About everything that's going. I'm like, but how do you know? <laughs> like, what's wrong with you? So listen, it's it's important that we talk through some of this stuff. Uh, and before I get into any of that, uh. Yeah, man, Don Brown's pop champagne, pop champagne, pop, pop champagne. I don't want, I don't want anything that I'm about to say to be lost. Uh, this is such a celebration. This is such a celebration. Before I start, I want to thank y'all, all of y'all here. I know that I have done that in the past, but we do this thing, man. Yeah, yeah. Not, not we do shabby. this thing. Yeah, and we come in here and we talk about a lot of shit that maybe some of the time we don't even want to get into. Mm -hmm. But the commitment. The commitment. When you speak to new podcasters, the, the one of the things that they have trouble with early is the actual commitment. Yes. The commitment from you guys through thick and thin, no matter the hurdle. Uh, I know we joke around a lot. That can't be understated. So I recognize that and I thank y'all because without y'all, I would be unable to make some of the some of the tough decisions mm -hmm. that I'm forced to make. Mm. Uh so let me explain it for the people that have no idea what I mean when I say and, there's seven thank episodes you, Joe, left. Before you, you go on. Word. Thank you. Yeah. You should get some thanks in, in this this thank you fest. <laughs> it's a thank you fest? <laughs> thank you, Jam. <laughs> the thank you, Jam band. Yeah, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Listen. We are approaching what seven episodes left means is we are approaching the end of our Spotify contract. Mm. And for me, that's that's really it's an important milestone to note because I, I got to be honest with you all in a moment of transparency. And let me pause it right there. If you are listening to this podcast for the normal banner and jokes and stupid shit, you're going to have to fast forward for a little bit because this is a this is a sir. This is a public service announcement. Um, At the beginning of this contract. Uh, I was fearful I might have mentioned this here before. I didn't know how two podcasts a week were going to produce. Mm. Yeah, that was the biggest thing at first. I didn't know if we would be able to produce at such a high volume twice a week for two years straight. And it was a risk. It was risk, and it was risk assessment involved in that that we took on. August 20th, not August, September 23rd. What seven episodes left means is that September 23rd, this podcast, new episodes of this podcast will no longer be available on Spotify exclusively. September 23rd, I cannot tell you where this podcast will be. But as it stands, I can tell you where it will not be. And that is Spotify. I know, I know, you guys. <laughs> Whoa The backlash yeah. The questions mm -hmm. How could this be Right You were number one Yeah I understand uh, No we were 17 Last week 17 <laughs> I understand It's important for me to open It's important for me to open Some of these doors And report back to the people Again I'm a humble servant To the people So let's 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 Let's, let's paint a picture Let's start at Let's start at two years ago, two years ago before this contract began. And again, I'm only I'm only going to offer my perspective of things here across this timeline. As I said earlier, there are a trillion different perspectives to every singular moment. Mm. And this is just mine. Two years ago, let's talk about what the market in podcasting looked like <laughs> two years ago. From my perspective, there were many of us that were trying to figure out 
where the money would come from. A lot of us went into ads, but to get in the ad business, you kind of have to know ad people, and many of us creators do not. Mm -hmm. At that time, I was really hype about the mid-roll deal that we were about to close. Mm -hmm. Mid-roll, ad company. Fast mm -hmm. forward, mid-roll has recently sold. Yeah. But that's another story for another time. Mid-roll deal, two years ago, that's when, in my story, you guys were fucking fighting me down about the title offer that I was saying we shouldn't take. I know you guys' story is different there. It's fine. Um, and Spotify calls. Spotify calls. I rushed to L.A., and this is, this is... It's important to note that a lot of us podcasters had information questions about the data along with... Econ uh, economics questions mm -hmm. um, At that time These exclusive deals Weren't such a phenomenon It was a very new idea So I go to LA We sit in the Mondrian And it's me And it's Ian And it's Carl Cherry And it's about three other people From Spotify staff And they begin to tell me About a vision that they have for podcasting. And at the time, that vision was very much aligned and in line with mine, mm. right? Also important to note that this Spotify deal was done as a whole to gain information, to see what it felt like when you were able to centralize most of your entire audience to one specific DSP. That would help us determine the true value of what we're out here doing. And without us actually being able to go inside the house, we can all look at the house from outside of it and say it's pretty. Mm -hmm. But if we don't go inside the house, we're just not going to know what the moldings look like. Mm -hmm. The picture that they were painting was of a company that was kind of in a disarray and was uncertain of what the future held. Why could that, why would that possibly be? Expensive to operate because of the licensing costs, I would imagine, for music. You guessed it, because music labels receive 70% of all income. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not Joe saying it, that's public knowledge. Mm -hmm. That's written in plenty of stories prior to this deal happening. Insert podcasting. Talk about a low overhead. Talk about projections that in the next five years were through the roof in, um, in comparison to some of the radio ads. Talk about keeping a consumer on an app for a longer amount of time than music ever could. Yeah. The people at this meeting begin to tell me about this huge plan they had for podcasting. And first up the bat was who? You guessed it. Amy Schumer. Our label mate. Already that's a bit disturbing to Joe. Again, this is only my perspective. Already that's a little concerning to Joe because you're fucking the market up. You, who this move says knows very little about the market, Easily can disturb it. Remember, I came in here a bunch of podcasts ago and I said, I'm mad that Will Smith's getting in the content game and y'all laughed at me and called me crazy and said, Why? Mm -hmm. That's why. Because when celebrities enter a field, it skews the market for the rest of us. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying us as if I'm not a celebrity, but not on that of that magnitude. You know what I'm saying. Right. So Spotify is telling me we have Amy Schumer and they begin to divulge, they had grandiose plans of Amy Schumer leading off the exclusive deal and then me following up. In my head, I'm thinking this is two different audiences, I understand. Mm -hmm. But boy, this is fucked up because Amy Schumer isn't a podcaster. Mm. Not only is she not a podcaster, she's a celebrity who I, who I just watched go on this long rant about wage uh, pay disparity at Netflix. <laughs> mm. That's what was going on at that time. Mm -hmm. 
she was beefing. Oh, it's raining. God know I'm about to. Yeah, that's right. She was. She God, was. Sky just opened up. <laughs> whatever. I just seen it. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. No, it just happened. Yeah, that's right. So, so they had really high expectations of this, and all of this is great. But I have to tell y'all that the corporate people go off of numbers. As a creator, all we have to go off is energy. So even while all of that good shit is being proposed at that Mondrian lobby table, you know what I'm thinking? You guessed it. Hey, what happened to Tuma? Hmm. We can't even really talk about no business between us before I know what took place with my brother, Tuma. Tuma, for the people unaware, built hip hop's biggest playlist at Spotify, Rap Caviar. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, I'm not divulging anything that's private. This is all this all played out publicly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He built that playlist, argued with Spotify about who who owns it? What should happen being paid properly from an IP that you birthed? Mm. That's right. <laughs> <Yes>! <laughs> from an IP that you birthed. They didn't resolve that. That that was odd to me that you could create the biggest streaming playlist and not be compensated. So I asked and I got some little bullshit run around story. It wasn't really important. Oh, the Tuma thing we can't get into. It's complicated. Mm. Cool. That tells me all I need to know. Whole situation inspired the album I'm working on now. <laughs> they then present an offer for this podcast. And from the rip, I have to tell you, I was aware that they were valuing, valuing improperly. Hmm. They didn't know. But that was cool. I knew they didn't know because they had just told me that they had an Amy, Amy Schumer podcast that was coming that was going to blow through the wall. <laughs> so it's cool. <laughs> they don't know. Fine. Here we go. Load them up. Launch date. Joe Button podcast. Amy Schumer podcast. What happens? You guessed it. Amy Schumer has underperformed. Whatever you projected for Amy Schumer, it didn't quite reach wherever you hoped it would. Mm. Our podcast, I don't know what you projected. We're 900% above your projections. Mm. For the people listening along at home, what 900% above your projections means is we've recouped an hour one. Remember that Jordan doc where they was talking about his uh, Nike deal? Right. We blew through the projections. That's what we did. Mm -hmm. Day one. Hey, the site crashed when we launched. <laughs> mm -hmm. We had to call them. Biggest streaming. Eight in the morning. And say, say Vaughn, right? And say, yo, maybe y'all don't understand how this audience works, but they're serious about their shit. And now you're late, and there's a lot of them. They had to make some major changes. But if you think they were not watching while all of you were tweeting your dismay, mm -hmm. you're wrong. Hmm. Broke the system. Awesome. When was that? That's when we launched. For me, it begged the question, what's a kingmaker and who's a kingmaker? Is it the person that actually built the kingdom? Or is it the person in charge of running the kingdom? What is you guys' answer to that? Say it one more time. Sorry. Kingmaker. Who is a kingmaker? Gatekeeper. We have that gatekeeper conversation a bunch in this podcast. All right. Mm -hmm. But let's change it from gatekeeper to king. Maker, who is the actual kingmaker here? The person that builds the kingdom or the person that actually runs it? Uh, to an extent, both. I think you need a uh, if you build the kingdom, then naturally you are the king. But um, you also have to run the kingdom as well. To an extent, both. Right. When the system crashed, 
and Spotify was totally unaware of what our fanfare would bring to their platform, right? We are now at a crossroads. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Agreed. Yes, absolutely. That that's what something I'm saying. they weren't prepared for. Yeah. If Spotify were getting thirty percent of music income because all of the labels had a deal in place with Spotify. Mm -hmm. Again, public information. Mm -hmm. Then low overhead, projection boosting, podcasting would seem like it could be a resolution. But from Amy Schumer, something that did not work, inserting a celebrity into podcast land, you might be hesitant to spend. Right. Insert y'all. Insert the Joe Budden podcast. Mm -hmm. And what do you have? I think Successful you, business model. I think you have... That doesn't say anything. I think you have the guinea pig of a market you have interest in bringing into your system, but you don't fully understand how that market works. You have so, no idea so you how take, that market works. So you take someone that is established in that market and use them to see if this podcast thing is worth us putting money into how do we how do we monetize it let's just use this from an analytical perspective of a well-established podcast you're 100 percent correct rory Question you are you, you are on the Question. money with that they did did they purchase gimlet after our first we're episode? gonna get well, to yeah. gimlet okay. we're not even nowhere near that yet okay. let's get back to rory uh what did rory just say uh, you have a company that is interested in getting oh, you into are that market. absolutely correct so in that, Rory. This, but as podcast. podcasters and creatives, we never know, right? Because it takes the addition of you, pardon me, plus technology to see the true value. Two things I've said all well, one thing I've said a bunch in this podcast is in my business travels, they have sat me across from a lot of well educated people. And some of y'all know my history and my backstory. I dropped out in the 10th grade. It wasn't for me. My education may be limited. My knowledge is not. Mm -hmm. All you got to do is know how to spot a liar. <laughs> mm -hmm. We get that from the underground level. We get that from like the bottom of the bottom because we come from the bottom of the bottom. I break America up into tiers. It's the bottom of the bottom. It's the middle class. It's the high class. We have a few tricks when we come from the mud. It's, it's you, part you, of survival. You, when, you, we, you, when we get it from the mud. You're forced to realize things for survival that other people may not realize. And yeah. those things come across when you start dealing with the higher class and in business, not just in the mud. Those things still translate over and you realize them quicker because you come from a place that you have to survive to know these type of qualities and realize these things quick because you could be compromised with your life physically, not just in a bad business deal. So we get back to what is a stream worth, our age old question. <laughs> and that's an important question to podcasters, especially right? because in music, they have set the rules mm -hmm. and the rules are in place for three minute bodies of work. In podcasting, we at hours. Mm -hmm. You are on. You so are I'm highlighting on some of the confusion. I'm I'm high, I'm just highlighting for the audience why you want to go into two years ago. You want to go into an exclusive deal with somebody who's assuring you you'll get all the information and analytics that you need. But because I come from the bottom, my analogy is the strip club for the people that are having a hard time understand, understanding and following me. We've all been, right? Yeah. A few times. You know, I know, I know on, a, on occasion. I dabble. What is every Maybe trip a in a strip party. club? What is your every strip, every trip to the strip club worth to the strip club? Parks, what oh, is your man. every trip to the strip club actually worth to the strip club? I present the same question to Rory and any other gentleman that has... That has lived there. I'm, I'm getting easy. a plate of lasagna. Oh, please. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> oh, buying please. alcohol before I even throw oh, money at women. It's, pr it's priceless. For the people that don't know what I'm saying, and I'm admitting to some things here, because <laughs> I've been in the strip club quite a bit. I've spoken to the women that work, work it. I've spoken to the men that work it. In the strip club, you are taxed at every corner mm -hmm. without knowing. 
Mm-hmm. Paper towel in the bathroom. Pull up. <laughs> hey, you ain't even got to pee yet. Yeah. Get in the door. Pull up. <laughs> yeah. Ain't no door. Valet. True. You're paying. <laughs> Aggressive pat down. The door. You're paying. The coat check. You're paying. The food on display right after. You're paying. The drinks. You're paying plus the Got surcharge. The, <laughs> the hundreds that you order, you're paying plus the surcharge. Every hundred is 90. A table. The hundred is 90. Yeah. yeah. It puts you in that weird predicament of, hey, do I, do I pay the ATM the fee or do I pay the strip club the fee? Mm-hmm. Which the ATM fees are triple what they are. The anyway. bartenders are beautiful. You're going to keep ordering drinks. Mm-hmm. I'm tipping- taxing the bartenders. Mm-hmm. I'm taxing the strippers. I'm taxing the DJ <laughs> at every <laughs> single turn. Mm-hmm. You're being taxed. Mm-hmm. That was my analogy for the audience that we brought to Spotify, an unproven prospect and platform, because this is a music platform, right. in podcasting. The way that they made the podcasting market sound, because be, be advised, this is all a market share game. Two years ago, Apple controlled it. All of it. Without their knowledge. (laughs) Hey, by mishap. Yeah. We got hardware (laughs) and other shit over (laughs) here. Listen, we just getting taxed too much money. But we own all that shit. Podcast app has been on the iPhone 3 when you bought it. Yep. Mm -hmm. They, without knowing, were holding that market share. Yeah, I don't want to make this sound. I don't want to make I don't want to make this sound as if it's a bad thing at all. No, so trust me. This isn't a, a, a shit on it, it type is, segment. This is a great thing. We both ran into the small percentage that we never thought we would. Two years ago, they, inf- they, t- they told me that if they were able to get to 3%, 4%, 5% of the podcasting market, then that this would be unbelievable shit. It was almost unattainable. Right. That's how much of the market share uh, Apple owned. So that's what they said two years ago. The small percentage that we would have never guessed would happen is we hit all that shit. <laughs> right. I can't tell you that at the lobby in the Mondrian. All I can tell you is you're projecting wrong. You don't understand podcasting. And just move out of my way. Move out of my way and let us do what we have to do. And that's my problem to the two things that you said in this whole segment. Executives focusing just on the numbers and then the word value because the amount of people that we brought to spotify in the podcast market and the information they got from it back is, to the is, strip club is it, it's invaluable back you to the strip put club a price on that all you have to, you don't know how many people you have to put in the strip club for the strip club to turn a profit yeah <laughs> you might walk in and say this shit is horrible it's a hundred people here on the back end, the strip club is thriving with 100 people in there. Mm-hmm. 20 of those people are athletes. They done fucking threw money in the air for five hours. We got this. We got this here. But let's get off of that for a minute. The strip club, we brought the people to the party. Mm-hmm. The people was y'all. Round of applause for y'all. Yes. Hold yes. up. Round of applause for y'all. Thank you. Y'all's contribution should not get lost in what's going on here. And a lot of times we may feel so insignificant, we may think that we don't have a grand effect on the totality of things. I'm here to tell you, you would be incorrect. That is wrong. Let me get back to year one. Strip club analogy. Amy Schumer fails, from my perspective. We fill up up the strip club. Mm -hmm. 900% above projection. Mm -hmm. We're star tenders? This is year one of our contract, year one of our contract, year one of our contract. (laughs) Gentlemen, how long do you think it took them to figure out that this was a really profitable business? I'm asking you. You fucking guessed it. Instantaneously. (laughs) Instantaneously. Hey, listen, Crooked Eye told me that I need to honor my contracts. (laughs) Crooked Eye told me that I can't be upset with a contract. I should honor it out. And as a black man in this country, you know what I live with? 
I live with you being afraid of my response to anything. Right. Let that right. not be lost here. Mm -hmm. The systematic oppression part is huge. Mm -hmm. Let me not show these people. Let me not act like I don't know how to finish out a contract. Right. Like I'm not professional professional enough to be here. That goes back to the evolution. This is all just the evolution of Joe and Spotify. This is all cause for toast, and we toasting soon. Mm -hmm. Four months later, exactly four months later, do you know what happened? You fucking guessed it. A Gimlet acquisition. Mm -hmm. Talk about hearkening back to my fear of being able to produce two podcasts a week and stay number one two times a week. February 2019. Gimlet, $250 million. Gimlet is a company. Mm -hmm. They have a million podcasts. Mm -hmm. At Def Jam, I learned this. See, and that's the problem with these fucking DSPs. I come from music, fam. Some of these, some of these rules that y'all are trying to put into effect, it's an old game. It's an old game. I come from music which means i've been robbed and scammed for 18 years of my career in a game that i had no say so on the rules that were being put in place podcasting not so much buddy this is new ground all you niggas is new here spotify my contract with y'all i helped design it y'all didn't know <laughs> There's an entire ecosystem here that you have to respect. Have to. If you're looking to feed the soil. See, everybody's not looking to feed the soil. Some are just looking to take the fruit. Right. Gimlet comes. It's a bar. 250. Guess what? We took our little money, guys. <laughs> None of y'all complained. None of y'all said nothing to me. We didn't do what the average artist would do in that position because what we've been taught to do in this position is while the leverage is at an all-time high, threaten stoppage of work. Right. Mm -hmm. The market at the time, two years ago, quickly changed. Two years ago, podcasters didn't know where to go to get a bag. We didn't have the relationships. Hey, a few months in, everybody was giving out a bag. It's the reason most of you podcasters are rushing, searching for a deal with some high numbers to fucking announce. You don't value the freedom the way that you should. We'll get to that part later. Gimlet comes February 2019. April 2019. You know what else comes? You fucking guessed it. Podcast. Slow down, buddy. <laughs> You're now telling me that the Joe Budden podcast worked and in an attempt to scale up, go find another one, any one, just one. And we rocking. You now hire Gimlet, who produces <clears throat> podcasts in a mass, in a mass abundance. Mm -hmm. And in April, you purchase, purchase to own, purchase Parcast. Parcast, if you're unfamiliar, is a technology that you need to make a podcast. Mm -hmm. Tell me what that says to y'all while I'm quiet, not saying a word. Oh, wait, I got to rewind. I got to rewind. I made a huge mistake in the story. Before I took the short from y'all because I was in it for the uh, branding and the, uh, the branding and the information, before I took the short from y'all, when I leave Complex, what happened was I got millions from everywhere. Don't paint me out to be hit boy here. I'm not clout chasing. <laughs> Don't do that. And neither was he. I love hit boy. Followed him even. <laughs> You're so I, did. Corny. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. I followed him. I'm not cloud chasing. That's important to note because this is all poker and monopoly. So what I'm saying is when you don't have when you don't have the finances, sometimes you may take a deal that's not valued the way that you see it valued. You follow me? Yeah, of course. 
So I closed that Spotify deal at whatever we got. I won't get into numbers. I have NDAs yeah. everywhere. I'm going to get fired. <laughs> <laughs> I took that deal, and you know what happened after that? I got M's from everywhere. Everywhere. I used to be so confused when Drake said, your first million is the hardest to get and the rest of them come easy. I was home with $20 <laughs> saying, how could it be? <laughs> hmm. It's true. One million puts you in different rooms. Yeah, that's a fact. Mm -hmm. It gives you some different relationships. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I learned this is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Spotify deal came. We took it. Branding and information. And in the meantime, Joe got an M. M. It was raining M's. M from Viacom. M from Revolt. M from over here. M from over there. It was lit. Know what it told me? Whoa. Uh-oh. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. My time is my inventory. My time is my inventory. What I'm spending the most time on is my podcast. For me, it's my vote most valuable asset. Also, for me right now, I'm being paid the least in it. <laughs> Man. I'm being paid the least in my most valuable asset. And not numbers. Not numbers. Again, time. It's 102 episodes a year. I beat that doing eight pull-ups. It's crazy. I beat that doing X amount of loving hip-hops. Mm. <laughs> I beat it everywhere. Revolt. I get paid more than this shit. <laughs> Joe is great. Changes things a bit. Sure. Changes a few things. Yeah. It's hard to play poker broke, Parks. Yeah. If you don't have any money and you're at that poker table, I don't care what hand you have. Mm -hmm. You're going to think for a second. Yeah. Because yeah. you can't lose. All of these M's came. And granted, I understand that. Because the greater that Joe does outside this podcast, the, this podcast does great. Right. Like, I, I get it. It goes yeah. hand in hand. Listen, it's no beef. Synergy. No beef there. But you paid Gimlet 250 April came, 2019. You gave Parcast 250. You have a whole streaming farm of podcasts. You run Blank Air Podcast today. Doesn't matter because everything is cool in year one. Our numbers are going through the roof. Hmm. We are rocking. We are number one. So much so, we get approached eight months into a two-year deal to say, hey, we would like to further business. I'm applauding you guys. I'm applauding you for the foresight of recognizing a profitable business and looking to lock in way ahead of time. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. But it wasn't a podcast deal. It was a podcast deal. It was a pull-up deal. It was a Rory album deal. Whatever Maul went and did on the side, it was a Maul deal. We own 50% of that. Parks, you and Gift, throw that shit out the window. We own all of your shit. Eric, you're saying you're not taping nothing, are you? Because we own that too. <laughs> That's what happened eight months into this contract. Know what I said? It's silly. Right. Why would I acknowledge this when any graph that you pull up is to the moon for us? They all up. All the way up. Fat Joe, Remy Ma, hey. Any graph mm -hmm. is all the way up. Hey, you know what? I said no quickly. Brashly, abrasively. Mm -hmm. No, do me a favor. Don't present that to me again. It's common sense. I have a year left on this deal. Right. Yeah. If you're offering me seven figures now for all of this bullshit, why would I not wait the year to see what's going on? Master P gave it to you on Solange album. It's the same thing. I can't quote this, but it seemed they didn't like that. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> you don't say. I could be wrong in that. Me and Ian and I felt like they didn't like that. We could not confirm that. 
And that was in July, August. A year ago. 2019. I'm just painting the timeline from my perspective. Yeah. September 2019. Our one-year anniversary. I was expecting a raise. <laughs> Are we going to get into the, hey, real niggas, the whole thing? Hey, real niggas would have tore this contract up in month one <laughs> and done right. Yes, that's what would have happened. We have earned you nine figures. <laughs> I don't need to get into the how. <laughs> but I'm telling you for fact, we have earned... Nine figures, not low, not one. <laughs> In sports, this contract should have been ripped up. It wasn't. September comes. I'm old. We're owed a bonus because there's benchmarks there. Mm-hmm. We have been number one for a year straight. Yep. Five hundred thousand dollar just bonus just because. Guess what happened in September? God damn it, you guessed it. Not a bonus in sight. I was confused. Any right decision that I've ever made in business only comes from something not feeling right and making me ask questions. Other than that, I'm still just this 10th grade dropout without any information. But the smart people are stupid. (laughs) Hmm. So when we don't get a bonus in September, a year after being number one, I say, what happened? And they give me a bunch of bullshit about the difference between a start, a stream, a unique start, and however the hell's fuck you calculating some shit. Who the fuck are (laughs) (laughs) y'all? I come from the music business. Know what that is eerily similar to? 1,500 streams making a sale. Says who? <laughs> Walk me to his office. <laughs> no, that's I'm off. Say no, Now no, where you no, at? No, no, the no, third floor. No, no, no. Come shit. on, let's go. Yeah, Explain this to me. That's real shit. I want to yeah. talk to him. We didn't get a raise in September. Right. Guess what? I got fucking Crooked Eye's voice stuck in my head. You honor a contract. I got Ian's voice stuck in my head. You honor a contract. You show these people that you professional no matter what your personal grievances may be. Mm -hmm. Because that's when they paint you as threatening. I've spoken to enough bill collectors to know how this goes. Mm -hmm. Hey, fuck y'all. Oh, they said, oh, you're getting irate. Gotta go. (laughs) You don't need to curse. (laughs) September comes. We don't get a bonus. It's cool. I don't ask. Start streams. Unique starts. Whatever. Listen. I am also watching the numbers, and I can assure you what we are doing in consumption and retention is not matched by many. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all are wondering why I kept this thing three hours for two years. Some of y'all have listened to us talk about Parks Collard Greens. (laughs) (laughs) There's a fucking reason that I'm sitting here talking for three hours because the past two years have been nothing but a fucking case study. I'm watching. I'm watching. I'm watching. How long will they stay? They stay until the last hour. (laughs) I come from hip hop. I know what that means for advertising. I'm sorry if I'm losing some of y'all that are here from the jokes. Come back to us on Saturday. We'll get to it. I promise you. <laughs> this is important because there's too many podcasters and creatives out there being led astray and making the same mistakes for 70 fucking years. Uh, where was that? They did what? Uh, after year anniversary. Year anniversary. Well, we'll leave out, we the, don't, we'll leave we out don't. the watches and vacation. Uh, no, we won't, Rory. <laughs> no, we won't. No, we won't. This is a two-year review. Let's fucking that go. That was in September. In December, you know what happened? The same thing that they've been doing to us in the music industry for our entire lives is taking all the money and giving you a fucking plaque. Mm-hmm. Look at this shiny thing. They you put can out a wall. chart. <laughs> Y'all are number one. <laughs> the fans applauded. 
We rejoiced. We did that shit. What did we do? Nothing. It's a blink stat. <laughs> put, a, put a name on a chart. It that doesn't mean a thing. If your number one act for a year and a half was unable to meet the bonus, something is skewed. Something is something is off. Right. What are you basing this off of? We're number one. We didn't hit a bonus. Fuck the bonus. I don't know what number two is. <laughs> What's bad. three? If I'm in the league and I'm the Raptors, number one record in the East, guess what? I know what number two is behind me. <laughs> <laughs> We didn't get any of that. None of it happened. Not only number one for exclusive deals, for podcasting period on their their site. It's two different charts. Yeah. That's important. Not just the exclusive Spotify stuff. That all right, whatever. We'll be number one there. Who right. knows what that is? Number one on podcasting period on Spotify. Stupid me, right? Because I come from the bottom. So like I never decided to manage an artist, though plenty of them asked, because I didn't believe in the system that I would be walking them into. And it Fair. would be difficult for me to sleep at night knowing that you're just in the wrong infrastructure. Right. And that's kind of the same, same thing here. It's hard to guide someone for me, something you disagree For me with. and my personal goals, I'll just tell you all some of my personal goals. Uh, for me it's about building a network for me it's about having quite a few of these mm -hmm. and if I can't bring them to somebody that's going to value that properly and respectfully then I'm the small percentage of podcasters that will say no to the money and not bring it to you be very clear the money I'm talking about turning down and that I walked away from is substantial. It is more money than I have ever been privy to in my entire life. I've never touched it. I've never had conversations about it. Guess what? So? Right. It's not right. Right. September comes, cool, we don't get a bonus, we in year two, this is where things get interesting. Christmas comes, podcast charts come out, we number one, the fans are going crazy, Spotify is going crazy, everybody's going crazy but me. <clears throat> I want to know what number two, three, four, and five is. What's Gimlet doing? Y'all just gave him a quarter billy. What's podcast, or what's podcast doing? You just gave him a hundred. 56 million, whatever you gave. I don't give a fuck what you gave. I know what you gave us. And because I, because I come from music, I know that I could be working a pump it up at radio and Def Jam be working a put it on me and uh, what these bitches want. And uh, you're in direct competition with your label mates. <laughs> of course. Please don't get that twisted. Hey, if you're an athlete, when you on the floor with your teammates, the other team is pitting you against your teammates. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's all an area in which to be judged is what I'm saying. Right. I hope I'm not losing people out there. I hope y'all following me. This stuff is very important. Eric, you think I'm losing them? Nope. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, what happens next? Oh, my fucking God. I bet you by golly, wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, because all of this shit is cool. Right. This is the normal. This is like normal shit. Right. We all come from music. Right. This ain't new to us. Niggas trying to rob us. We know what this is. But in December... But in December, it gets interesting. It's Christmas. Holidays. <laughs> New Year's is coming. Easter's coming. Valentine's Day is coming. True. <laughs> Most important. Man. St. Patrick's Day? Arbor Man. Day. Arbor hey. Day. Man, shit is coming. We sat in this fucking small, tiny living room and said, hey, you guys, we've been busting our ass. Two pods a week. We have been going hard out. I'm so proud of y'all. We have showed up and turned out at every turn twice a week. Yeah, Savon's not wrong either. New Touring Year's, in between it. New Year's Eve is coming. Christmas is coming. Let's get a vacation. Mm -hmm. Why don't y'all highlight some of the days that we want off? 
So we can come back January 1 recharged, mm-hmm. full of the right podcasting energy. Because, again, I'm still on energy here. They can go off numbers. I'm on energy. Right. And we took the time and we highlighted those dates and I submitted them. <laughs> <laughs> that nah, shit was fam. crazy. <laughs> nah. I'm going to get tight again. I kind of <laughs> wish you didn't even bring this part up. <laughs> I'm going to get tight again. <laughs> Rory, I, I can assure you, I promise you. Listen, do you trust me? Of course. There's nothing to be tight about. <laughs> that shit. There's nothing to In be tight. In December. Like, I want to I I I assure you, gentlemen, oh, before you get angry. Coming. Don't worry. There is nothing to be tight about, and we'll get I'm to not, that. I'm not we'll get to that me. later. We pick out some vacation time. Were we ambitious in that? I don't even think so. Was, I don't. Dates, I think. Well, I, no, no, no. It was more than two. Okay. It wasn't <laughs> no, we weren't missing more than three three episodes. Yeah. Three episodes. Yeah. Maybe. might even be right. Might have been two episodes. Yeah, I think it was two. I think no, we were trying to plan it, wasn't. it Y'all to wrong. miss Y'all wrong. Y'all wrong. like a Friday to a Friday. But whatever. No, no. Because no, no, we were going to pre-record. We wanted New yeah. Year's oh, well, Eve yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Do some no, we were going to pre-record. Yeah, but, we, yeah. but the bottom line, we wanted New Year's Eve off. We wanted Christmas off. New Year's Eve, I think, fell on the actual day we recorded. So yeah, yeah, those we stayed away from. Mm-hmm. And I submitted that vacation time. Vacation, we needed By the way, two listen, pods listen a week, sentence. three hours long. You know, like, we need, <laughs> we need a break. We need a break. No, we need a break. Listen to that. Yo, we want Christmas off. <laughs> it's a no. We need a break. Nah, son. Yeah, like we have families. Nah, we don't, nah. <laughs> fuck your families, B. Like, yo, you know, you know the family thing. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> fuck your, fa- fuck your family. Ah! <laughs> yo, y'all get me mad. <laughs> Niggas couldn't get a Christmas. Nope. No wonder the household is in shambles. No wonder sin left. Yeah. <laughs> Now, now it all makes sense. Oh, come like, on. Yeah. Come on. I'm sitting there married. I got to work. I got to work. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> I, I submitted those days for a vacation. Let me stop playing around. And what I got back was, nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> no. Nah, you don't need those. Like, why are you trying to take a vacation? <laughs> Everyone uh, else is off. You guys need to be on. Listen, uh... No, I understand it's Christmas and New Year's Eve. Maybe there's a way you can pre-record something. Just put it out there. Mm-hmm. I mean, you don't want your audience to just go let us stray. Wait, 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 wait. You white people are not telling me about my how my audience acts, right? <laughs> <laughs> wait, who you think know my audience better, me or you? Mm-hmm. They say no. I wasn't so upset about the vacation time. I can work for years straight. I, I don't have a personal life. Like, Same. my job is my job is this. My my off time is my job. Mm-hmm. Same. Like, I work. Yeah. yeah, I work. I get to it. Yeah, we're we're fortunate enough to our work is. Oh, we, we like. get, yeah, we get right to work. We, listen, yeah. I'm fortunate enough to be able to come sit on the couch, talk to my friends, and be paid for it. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't take that for granted. Oh God, and that was our that yeah. was our attitude towards it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we come to work, but on the flip side of that, boy, was it telling. Hmm. Boy, was it telling what it said to Joe after your Gimlet and Parcast acquisition, acquisitions. We need to recoup. Was y'all can't afford for us to go on vacation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We can pause right there because I know that sounds really stupid to think of. That well, That sounds dumb at first. That a fortune whatever... Yeah, company one of, one of the biggest companies needs little period. ass us. That's real. For their overall numbers. And for the people confused by that, let me just add a little bit. And I missed a huge part that I'm going to go back to. But let me add some of that right now. Um, Spotify never cared about this podcast individually. Mm. Don't be angry at that. It's fine. It's great. Pot. Spotify only cared about our contribution to the platform. So when we're talking about ads, however many months in, because that was my fight six months in. Six months in, they delivered an ad. Back to M's reigning everywhere and Joe getting millions just from 
taking a shit. They came back with some ads for us to put throughout our podcast. And the, the ads were like, I won't say the companies because I'm respectful and professional. Of course. But it was something like over the course of six to eight episodes, you get 150 grand. For a company that you may not endorse. This is solely ad related right. here. Mm-hmm. Eight episodes, 150 grand. Some of you that are familiar with my story, the ad fight was my fight at Complex. It's how I ended up at Spotify. If they would have just done any due diligence, they would realize all this. But no. What I had to tell them was no. <laughs> I'm not taking your bullshit ad. Because you are devaluing me personally in the market space. Mm-hmm. And that doesn't even make sense as far as our listenership. and stuff. Yeah, but even if they found one that made sense, Parks, yeah. even if you name something that Rory loves and you come and say eight episodes, 150,000, and Joe is getting 1.5 for seven episodes, <laughs> you can see something is off yeah. here, right? I turned them all down. Turn every ad that they brought this way, I turned it down. I said you were devaluing me outside of this system and I cannot allow it. Unbeknownst to me, and I'm sharing this with you guys, I don't think there was ever a plan to get advertising correct. Complex when my fight was ads, they always blame it on oh, our ad team sucks. When I got to Spotify, mm-hmm. I thought that the ad team, this is Spotify, so you got to have an ad team that's fruitful. Absolutely. We got the hottest podcast in the streets. This combination, if you want to know Joe's calculations, just off our ad split, I expected y'all to be millionaires in year one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Well, if we do a, uh, if we do a 55% sell-through rate of ads yeah. on a three-hour product that's holding retention well into the second hour. Yeah. That's insane. And I know what our splits say <laughs> yeah. in our contracts. Y'all about to get paid. We all. Hey! <laughs> yeah. It's lit. That did not happen. Spotify painted that as if they were doing me a favor by saying we're going to dead all we going to dead all that. We're not going to come to you with no ads. We're not going to come to you with advertisers. We're going to let y'all do what your thing cuz the listener experience is important. The listener experience is important. It's all I've ever thought about. Hey, some of you that listen to podcasts out there will now see your favorite podcast. The listening experience is interrupted quite a bit. Yeah. This is probably one of the only podcasts where you don't hear an ad nowhere, but everybody's paid. Yeah. (laughs) It's because I guard this thing. (laughs) You can't just come and pillage this thing. Back to uh, back to year two. December comes. December comes. We don't get a bonus in September. I'm spilling all the business. <laughs> December comes. Know what they say after they put their little fucking chart out that has us at number one that I don't give two fucks about that they maybe think I do? They say, you guessed it, we would like to offer a token of our appreciation. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have been killing this shit. Killing meaning we are still number one out of over 500,000 podcasts. That's important. Say that Don't again. get my self-deprecation fucked up when I come in here and just joke around with my friends. I am well aware of our stature in the marketplace. <laughs> hmm. I don't discuss it because it's business shit. Uh, Dan, where was that? Number one out of 500,000. Number one out of 500,000. Hey, we want to offer you a token of our appreciation. Can we get you guys watches, Rolexes, (laughs) ball out? I love Rolex. It took me 10 years to get the Rolex I have on my wrist. Hey, I even bought fake Rolexes (laughs) (laughs) until I was able to get me a Rolex (laughs) that was up to my fucking stature. Yeah. (laughs) So when they said that, what did we all go do? And Come on, way, y'all can share. Don't be embarrassed. Before, before that, no, before that, they was talking Marwin about... Marwin picked out something with a bezzy. <laughs> <laughs> Diamonds listen, on Maul's listen, shit. Man, Maul me. picked out the greatest Harlem Rolex <laughs> you could possibly pick out. <laughs> Come, on. Come on. It had and the globe it, in the face. <laughs> and, that, and that was being subtle. I, I was going to send the all gold AP. Hey. Bro, but I was like, <laughs> 
just chill. That was the uh, chill. That was the chill look. You know what I mean? That's okay. what I'm saying. Yeah. Hey. We all gave him the chill you know, the, look. The most subtle yeah. joint. I had the oh, little come green on. face joint. That, we were like, humbled. Like yeah. I could have bought. Yeah, right. We were humbled. Yeah. Oh, come on. I got to drop tea. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hurt him. I got to give him the tea. Uh-huh. You got it from here, yay, damn. Hey. <laughs> 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 Was Jay killing? No. <laughs> no, no. He was chilling. Actually. He was calm. No. Hove KO, hey. chill, yay. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't even. He wasn't hype. I got it from here, yay, damn. Like, he was like, fam, I was eating fucking cheese and crackers. I wasn't even going. Yo, it's nobody. These blood diamonds don't no, lie to me, man. Nobody. <laughs> he didn't ask Jacob that. <laughs> No Jacob way. wasn't going to tell the truth anyway. Jacob just got out of jail, Kanye, <laughs> for, for, for selling, selling fake, <laughs> fake diamonds. And what are you talking about? Is is they Jacob? Don't lie to me, man. <laughs> Kanye, Jacob's lying to you. It's okay. They're not even diamonds. <laughs> what a little blood. It was no, glass. The, no, the funny part about that is Hope didn't care what that song was about. Yeah, that no. song was about blood diamonds, Sierra yeah. Leone. Yeah, no. Hope came on. on deep shit like, it was a cool record, and right. now nah, I'm about to. Hope stab. came on here to revisit that Memphis Bleak line. <laughs> <laughs> Bleak could be one hit away his whole career. Like, we heard you. Yeah. <laughs> we know you're gonna hold him down. <laughs> and uh, then Kanye said Dame was coming back in the middle of their beef. <laughs> talking about your crew in the middle of a Blood Diamond song <laughs> is. You know the next question, dog. Legendary. Yo, where Dame at? Yeah, and while we're, while we're having this conversation, I think that they that Nas and Hove should have did Black Republicans over. Agreed. Well, like, they did success. Like, like a whole different. Thank God. Whole different. But song. that was different from. Black Look how petty Hove is, man. He said, "Ah, right, yeah, I let you get your Black Republican shit off. That'll be the first one, but the good record success <laughs> that's gonna be on American Gangster, sir. Mm-hmm. They're not even Republicans." Listen, man, go back. Papoose, black more, Democrat. More, more schooling, man, Republicans. <laughs> Yo, y'all are stupid. Man. I feel bad about this only because I, I understand that record, and I'm not as mad at black Republicans as everyone else is. Yeah. Triumphant horns you need with a collaboration of this magnitude that we've been waiting for for years. But did I and need a that, whole minute? And when that comes, you got to let the beat rock for 90 seconds, two minutes. They did that. And then they did both rip. It just no, they, didn't age. It it sounded too much like that year. And that year didn't age well. Yeah, that's what happened. That, and they should no, do they that. Both, they they both should passed. do that again. Because you know what What I forgot about during all of this, uh, Jay keeps releasing shit on Nas's release dates, uh, is at the B-Sides concert that you and I attended two years ago, Roy, mm-hmm. Nas came out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And and the building erupted. I won't say that again, listeners. <laughs> the building erupted. erupted. Um, is it a frenzy? <laughs> is pandemonium? I was part of the eruption. Yeah, yeah. I definitely. It's think, hove, man. I erupted. I think I had a different a different <laughs> my, high pitch. My fiance was leaving me at the concert, and, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, dead, dead president!" <laughs> I had I had just got decked. Yo, Rory <laughs> just got hit. Oh, Sin, no, yeah, the shot I'm like, oh my God. Sin left me. It's, I'm like, oh, can I live? <laughs> oh my God. Is that Kim and Jim Jones? <laughs> <laughs> Nas came out during that shit and it was all everything. Everything yeah. was great. We need a black Republican remix. Yeah. We need a redo. Just remix to that. We need a redo of that. All right, so everyone pick their watches. Maul pick something with <laughs> Maul pick something with diamonds. Of course, yeah. <laughs> I picked. I mean, a little, a little light AP, See, it, it, a little it, light AP, quick seventy. Mm-hmm. It's quick seventy. Parks pick something light. I uh, did something before, super light. Uh, Rory gave something that Sam could feel. <laughs> like everybody picked a watch that was appropriate to them. The bill was no more than two hundred grand. We wasn't picking out a watch for uh, Don Browse. No. It was for us. <laughs> right. And Spotify came back and said, ah. yeah. we, were thinking, ah. we were thinking fossils. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. A lot. I was how thinking swatches. Guys, how do you feel about used watches? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, we're not greedy people. No. We sent them our used watches. <laughs> Hey, I can get my shit used. It's 70 new, might be 40, 50 used. I'll take it. Used watches for everybody. We sent that sent that in. What did they say? You guessed it. 
Have you have you seen the new G-Shock? We don't know, number one, number one podcast. We don't know. It's a lot. It's a lot. Okay. Fitbits you may not be able to afford Parks, Rory, Mall, and myself. Just give me a list new of band, bro. or used <laughs> Rolexes. Rubber bands. Yeah, just come that, on. Throw that shit hey, on my wrist, bro. Hey, you might not be able to afford us used Rolexes, but guess what? We would love a trip to Tulum. And Korea. wasn't that their idea? I think it was. We would love. <laughs> no, it was Greece. Damn, we didn't. No, no, yeah, no, it was no, Greece. No, stop. Let me stop each of you. You've we just didn't, been on Instagram too much this everyone, past week. Everyone, we didn't ask them for anything. No, we didn't. Yeah, this was all their idea. This was an offer. <laughs> yeah, we we this was minding our business going, hey, how about Christmas? <laughs> hey, what, what about the pod next Saturday? <laughs> they came in, hey, Rolex is appreciation number one. You're lit. We mm-hmm. just gave mad money to the white people. But you guys, mm-hmm. you get a watch. <laughs> <laughs> I thought us saying no to the new Rolexes was like us taking a, a mall Harlem stand. Like, fam, we don't need your new Rolexes. Yeah, yeah. We are okay. When we sent the new, uh, used Rolexes and they said no, I thought we were taking a mall Harlem stand. I thought it was like, fam, you got us fucked up. You don't know how fly we are. We can buy our own used Rolexes. <laughs> it's right. okay. Like, you don't have to worry about this. All right. Um, then we were tossing around the idea of private jet to Greece, mini vacation, Spotify. Recording, though. Spotify. Yeah, bringing the gear. Yeah, we was going to record. Spotify pay for it. We get our podcast in Greece. Everything is cool. Sent that up the chain of command. Guess what? Spotify says. Mm-hmm. I don't we don't really have to. I don't know. I don't know yeah. about. I don't know about that Greece. How about Queens? I don't there's know. Not, there's about, a lot of Greeks there. Yeah, that story is very Greek. <laughs> That's a lot of money too. Private jet, Greece. What can we do to make everyone whole? <laughs> we want to show our appreciation to you guys. But everyone should be made whole. This is in December. And I say to them, you know what? If you're serious about truly showing us appreciation for being number one for two years, and you're going to give us a budget to celebrate what we want to do, that's when I came to y'all and said, how do y'all feel about giving money away to the fans in December? Mm -hmm. I said, hey, this is their token of appreciation. This money would go to us, but I don't believe that we could really honor any appreciation without appreciating the fans that got us here, that came here to this undeveloped market. Mm -hmm. If you have 50 grand, let's give it to the fans. If you have 75 grand, let's give it to the fans. Mm -hmm. It's the holidays. Mm -hmm. You can't buy more promotion than you can with that. It's a great gesture. You're doing the right thing in your heart. And wow, what a look. Mm Mm-hmm. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we'll hold that. <laughs> why, nah. Why, we got why, some more signings yeah. coming up. Why, why give it back to the people that are subscribing to us? That was the first time it dawned on me that Spotify is pillaging. Mm. You pillage the audience from the podcast, and you've continued to pillage each step of the way without any regard for actually how the people feel the impactful people the people that are responsible for making all of this come to fruition is how i felt you will not give the fans money during a holiday christmas new year's eve it's fine it's your money it's your business i didn't ask for a rolex watch i didn't ask for a trip to greece everything is cool did I mention the new offer that they presented in July? I did? Or I no, didn't? I don't, I don't know about uh, that one. Let's rewind a little bit. Briefly. Let's rewind a little bit. In July, prior to the bonus hitting, I was presented with a contract offer from Spotify for our podcast. Oh, I did. Yeah, our you, pod- did. you, yeah, you did. briefly did. spoke about it. I did. They would own did. all of for us. For our podcast, for y'all, yeah, just yeah. for everything, for the pull up. 360. Just yeah. for everything. Yeah. I said, no, cool, beef arise. For, for we Rem. Don't, we don't get a bonus. <laughs> charts come Sam's out. Ch- Ch- Chairsy. Char- Char- <laughs> charts come out. We got over 700,000 podcasts now. We own this percentage of the market share. And we're not going to give y'all any money to give away to the fans. Or all of that is cool that's cool we're in year two now that's in december but that flows all the way into by the time we get an answer from that no watches no grease trip it's february the pandemic has hit we continue to work 
the pandemic hit and we kept coming to work. We didn't stop. We didn't ask each other about COVID tests. We all just came because this entire time we all have been just married to the goal line. Mm -hmm. We know what needs to be do uh, needs to be done head down to the finish line. We say not a word until my dad gets really, really ill, gravely ill, COVID already had health complications. I don't need to paint this to y'all how it happens for people with existing health complications. Mm -hmm. My dad uh, began calling his kids with uh, the will Mm. like. My dad thought that it was over. My dad was calling me with all these I love yous. He ain't said I love you to me in 30 years. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like, it's not how you end a call with your dad. <laughs> right, right. Yo, I love you. I care yeah, about yeah. you. Like, that's not, it doesn't happen. Yeah, it's just not what we do. My dad was, was so afraid. Uh, in turn, that made my mom really, 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 really scared. While, while I was having a lot of faith in God, my mom was calling me just really, really worried. My entire family was concerned. Um, uh, so we stopped, mm-hmm. we, st- we, we, we stopped recording. I used the global pandemic as a reason for us to slow down recording because my grand, my, my dad was gravely ill, dying, scared for his life in Pal- Palisades hospital, um, in New Jersey. And while my dad was first priority, I would be lying to you if I didn't say, that the fact that we couldn't take a vacation two months prior was well and well aware in my head. Hmm. It's two episodes a week. It's two years. Niggas need a break for the energy to flow properly, for mm-hmm. you to discuss things properly, for your mind to just be cleared. You gotta live for a second. Uh, so my dad dying made me call him and say, fam, check this out. We're not recording. It's a pandemic. Everything is fucked up. What are you recording for? <laughs> Niggas don't know if they're going to live. <laughs> or, hmm. And that was cool. Because what can you say to that? Right. What can you say to there's a global pandemic and people need to stay home and shit is contagious and masks and blah, blah, blah. It was, it was new. It was the beginning, the beginning phases of that. And I'm checking on my dad and we're talking every day and so forth and so on. And I start getting calls to say, hey, man, when y'all coming back? Oh, shit, I skipped a part again. In <laughs> December, in December, I want to say we went on a little four-show run tour. Yeah. Yeah, that was Philly and um, Philly, Baltimore. Philly, the, 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 the Beacon. Baltimore, New York. That was the Beacon. Yeah, uh, so, yeah, three. Uh, second year of our contract says that... Uh, says that Spotify does receive some type of passive participation in the touring. Mm-hmm. Which is cool, because I'm with that. You have all this technology that maybe will be helpful for us. You're going to help with the branding, which will help for us to put people in the seats during tour. I don't mind you passively participating at all, but truth of the matter is you contributed nothing. Correct. And you handed me some bullshit pull up in everyone's rights offer in July. And in September, we didn't get a bonus at all. But when I tell you my phone and email and Ian's phone and email went off nonstop when we went and did those shows for them to receive their passive participation. (laughs) (laughs) Which maybe I'm exaggerating. It it felt it felt like it it felt like it was nine times a day for at least three, four weeks. And it wasn't that much money, especially to Spotify. Well, the act the, the act here is the pillaging. Yeah. Pillage is a proper word I want to use because that is what has been taking place Mm -hmm. for two years now. But I sent that money. Mm -hmm. Whatever money we got from the tour and whatever money I agreed to send them, I sent it, get off my back. But again, creators going off the energy, the corporate people going off the numbers. I've now pointed out to you at least six different ways before the new year hit in 2020 that this relationship began to sour and that we were no longer aligned. Mm -hmm. Not sour, because we may do future business, but we weren't aligned anymore. Our objectives had quickly changed. The people that I had been in communication with inside of this company, they have reversed roles, 
left the company, played musical chairs. They've been removed from any conversation. Anybody I had a rapport with has been removed from any conversation. Used watches, we say no. Cool, that's the end of that. February 2020, what happened? You guessed it, Bill Simmons deal. $250 million, quarter billion dollars. For his network, yeah. Now, what they'll tell you is we purchase these things. They belong to us. Mm-hmm. We purchased Gimlet. We purchased Parcast. We purchased Bill Simmons. We own those things. And I can understand some of that. I get that. This has been such a profitable business. You are no longer in the licensing business like you were with Joe Budden and Amy Schumer. Now you need to own these things so the person that developed it has no right to say a fucking word. They don't know. They don't have a clue about the money that's coming in. Yeah. (laughs) Doesn't matter to them at that point. Yeah, no, not at all. February 2020, Bill Simmons comes in. Let me interject in this story just to say, as a nigga from Jersey City with the number one product twice a week, for two years in a row with the consumption and retention and retention being what it was, I'll be honest. I thought that we were in lieu of a big payday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did too. Yeah, me too. I did. So did my mom. <laughs> and mine. And mine. <laughs> <laughs> my mom couldn't wait to talk about yeah, renovations. Yeah, yeah, I want to yeah, get a new yeah, bathroom nah. and like put the, yeah, new, yeah. the tub with the jacuzzi things. Yeah, nah, they, they started borrowing more. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I need six thousand dollars. <laughs> wait, uh, man, wait. I know. And then the rent is seven hundred. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah, hey. you know. Hey, you started to get a better grip on what parents' allowance meant. Yeah. I mean, you know Con Ed this month. <laughs> it's the oh, winter. Oh, man. My mom's allowance kept going up. <laughs> I understand how she felt when I was a kid. <laughs> I need about 1900 uh, <laughs> Ma. It's Wednesday. <laughs> Who asks for 1900 on a Wednesday? You're telling your parents, what do you think? Money grows on trees? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't teach you about fiscal responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Bill Simmons get paid. I'll be honest with you in a moment of transparency. I think that our payday is coming. I've I've been shown no behavior to result in this. Right. But I'm going to remain optimistic. And I'm going to hope that if we just continue to do the job, even though the exclusive company that we're signed to is actively pitting against us with all of these signings. Mm-hmm. Guess what happened? You guessed it. We were still number one. <laughs> Couldn't budge us. It's a good time to answer. Dun, 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 dun. Turn my music high, 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 high. That's what he was talking about. <laughs> one million, two million, three million, four. Mm. For 18 months. 70 million more. Whatever he said, <laughs> this was it. Hey, Hove has always been right. <laughs> Yeah. He's been ahead of this shit. He's been, he's been, that's where we're in the Ox. <laughs> <laughs> right on time. Yeah. You can always tell where we got the Ox. Hey, <laughs> we're in the Ox. Turn it up, Rory. But this is the a hey, hey. Oh God, I learned them like the back of our hands. I wear on my I don't hey. The ain't a sewn outfit, Holmes. Turn it off, Rory. Turn it off, Rory. The ain't a sewn outfit, Holmes. When you call a nigga Holmes, you're well, you're up. You're well, you have the upper hand in this. Yeah. Hey, There's Holmes. Leverage. Leverage hey, whatever Holmes. you think it is. Hey, what are Marlon saying the wire? Hey, you think it's that, but it's this. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Holmes is like the nicer Duke. This ain't a fucking sewn outfit, Holmes. Holmes is about it. <laughs> not fucking right. rapping about no blood diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> rapping about bleak. Rapping about bleak. Rapping about yeah. my friends. Yeah. <laughs> my crew. Real shit. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. You were the about. one that brought up Dame. <laughs> um, 
Bill, Bill Simmons. Bill Simmons gets quarter million dollars February 2020. Spotify will tell you that they purchased these companies, so they shouldn't be compared to whatever it is you're talking about. Mm -hmm. My reply to Spotify would be whether you lease the car or finance the car, the price is in the same ballpark. Right. Yeah. All it means is that at the end of the term, who owns the car? Right. <laughs> who has the who has to pay for the damages that have happened to the car over the last three years? Right. Listen, you can't tell me. I tried to buy a rose. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, and when I got there, I said, "Well, the lease. Well, <laughs> well, well, what about the, the lease? The mileage? <laughs> hey, how many? Hey, two thousand miles. <laughs> so I can I can just go. <laughs> I go to the city like twice. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm trying to stunt. Give me five hundred miles. I'm gonna drive. I'm gonna drive on a full day and take it home <laughs> and park it up. <laughs> Yo, y'all, I don't remember what we were talking about. Bill uh, Simmons. Bill Simmons, $250 million. They own it. Congratulations. I made a round of applause. Yeah. yeah. Round of applause. Yeah. Spotify. Yeah. Bill wanted to do. Love Bill Simmons. Not all the way. Yeah. <laughs> a couple For consumer facing. I, I like him a lot. I don't know him. I never met him. Like I told you, I can't vouch for these guys that I've met. I never met him. I don't know him. I don't know what he eats on Thanksgiving. Does he have cranberry sauce there or not? Good question. I would hope so. But probably. But he is look, it good he looks like He sauce? looks like he would have cranberry sauce. Is it ocean spray or is it like... Ocean spray. <laughs> Bill Simmons, $250 million. I think we're about to get paid February 2020. We've been in a deal that is vastly undervalued and undermined for the good course of a year and a half. And the guinea pig to all but these deals have, that they're giving out now. Yeah, no, you're just watching everybody get paid. I watch Gil, I Off watch, I watch Gimlet get a quarter of a million dollars. I mean, a quarter, a quarter of, a of a billion dollars. Right. I watch Parcast get seventy million dollars. I watch Bill Simmons get a quarter of a billion dollars. I'm not counting anyone else's money because they've earned it along their journey. Of course, mm -hmm. but what I am doing is trying to figure out the appropriate value to the asset that I own. <laughs> Yeah, that's not counting pockets. That's, yeah, that's, that's I'm, just, at the, I'm just the trying to figure out. Hey, if you paid a quarter billion dollars for a company and they came in and still didn't budge me out of number one or perform anywhere near us, right? Mm -hmm. We have to account for it. Yeah. Hey, it got to a point I was welcoming any of the new signees. Hey, get your bum ass in here. <laughs> Let's see what you do. See, because a big problem here is, hey, I'm just your button. Pump it up. Good tune. I threw rocks at some kids. <laughs> they deserve it. Uh, Moon music. <laughs> hey, they had, they had depressed people, you love me. <laughs> I, I, listen. No, 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 no. You do state the culture. Too. I all I state the culture. Listen, yeah, yeah, yeah. I all the way understand you, you every day. the perception of. I said, look at Rory, man. You get another alley oop. Fourth quarter. Fourth he quarter. I'm, I'm throwing shooting. it. I'm throwing it your way, man. He just keeps shooting. Yeah, boredom Hayward. <laughs> <laughs> We can fight outside. Yeah. Honestly, we really could do it. No, we're in a fight together, Rory. We're in a fight together. Have you missed me? Have you? Mi I'm fighting for you, Jack. I'm fighting for you, Jack. <laughs> um, where, where was that here? In this, in this, Bill in Simmons. This we stole Bill Simmons. Yeah. Inviting other people oh, to come with exclusive deals. Oh, let's uh, let's get off of Bill Simmons. If you finance and lease the car, it's somewhere around the same thing. Cool. Right. I take a vacation. My dad is dying. We weren't granted a vacation in December. I think this is a perfect time to not really stir the pot and for my guys to get the time they need. Mm -hmm. And me. Needed it. My dad is sick. Yeah. Right. My grandpa was dying and died in April. We did not stop recording because of COVID. We stopped recording because my dad was dying. And four weeks into my dad dying, who do I get a phone call from? Parks, Maul, Rory, Savon, Alex, Corey, Erickson, all of you guessed it. Bill fucking Simmons. <laughs> Label me. Suck my dick. Yeah. <laughs> DMX to your Jay-Z. I've never spoken to Bill Simmons a day before in my life. Mm -hmm. We've never texted. We've never DM'd. Email, CC, BCC? No, we weren't BCC. Damn. We weren't anything. Okay. 
How did this moment come to fruition where Bill Simmons is calling my phone? If you're here for the stupid Instagram jokes, I'm sorry. There'll be none of that right now. How did we get to the moment where Bill Simmons is calling my phone, Joe Budden, my dad is dying, it's a global pandemic, and we are not recording? What is happening? What meeting took place up there where Bill Simmons has to say, I'll call him? <laughs> we back. We get there two million. Hey, we, we back. We back to number. We back to not letting these niggas take vacation. Now they found a way to take a vacation, <laughs> and no, Bill Simmons go. It's, <laughs> it's Billy. Yo, yo, yo! I'm thinking it's one of my chicks. <laughs> hey, how you doing, it's Bill Simmons? I just got a quarter billion dollars on Spotify. I know you're waiting on your money, but listen here. <laughs> oh, hey, Bill, and clearly some pussy, Bill. <laughs> now, mind you. I wanted Bill on my podcast before, mm. and I reached out to Bill. Mm. Wasn't the easiest of processes. I'm sure not. He's, he's Bill Simmons. Yes. Yeah. It was tough. <laughs> I will get back to that later. Mm. This time, Bill Simmons is right on the phone. Mm. Hey, uh, noticed you haven't been potting. You guys are right. What's going on over there, man? Listen, it's a really simple process to record from home. <laughs> if you don't know, listen, I, owner of The Ringer, owner of $250 billion, I just bought nine houses, nigga. What the fuck's you doing? I don't even know where a I, pandemic could be. Yeah, yeah, not in my houses. <laughs> yeah. I have nine houses that I purchased. <laughs> if one gets, a pan- I, if one gets listen, COVID, I just go listen, to the other one. I can walk you and your little stupid friends through podcasting from home. <laughs> <laughs> if you and what's your, Mal? Uh, <laughs> Rari? Why can't anyone yeah, pronounce if, Mole's if, name? I don't understand that if, at all. It's so easy to if, pronounce. If, if you and Mal and Rari... <laughs> And park, you went to a park. Uh, if, if, well, yeah, do this in a park, right? If you guys you do this in a park, <laughs> if you guys can figure out, if you guys are having a hard time with potting through the pandemic, me sign to the ringer, w- William I, Simmons, <laughs> I can guide you and instruct you through potting from home. Mm. Thanks, Bill. Aww. Thanks, Bill. Bill, you know you're a stand-up guy, even if you were sitting down. A round, of, round of applause man, for that crock of bullshit. Audio genius. <laughs> Wait, so what's it's called Zoom? Yeah. <laughs> How you spell that, Bill? How you spell that? Yeah. Wait, he uses the yeah, internet? It's an yeah, S yeah. or a Z. This sounds crazy. I said, Bill. <laughs> Billy. I said, Bill, Bill, Bill. We stopped potting because my dad is dying he's actually in the hospital right now up the street i'm headed to go up there man Mm. see the soul is gone from spotify Mm. because if the soul is there you should be able to say that and somebody read between the lines and pick it up when i said that to bill simmons there's no lines you know you know what he said Listen, man, uh, I can I can send over the name of the equipment that we're using to get our pod up and running, and I think that'll be really helpful for you. You can FaceTime me. I can walk you through potting while your dad's dying. Hmm. Know what I said? Bill, I got to go. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which is what you should say. Thanks. All right, cool. I, I highly appreciate it. Uh, you're a weirdo. <laughs> but, but, but thank you but thank you I appreciate that don't call my phone again yeah, and that's don't, don't text me you and I should never speak again <laughs> but this was really 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 helpful Did and that was in a... that was in February mm-hmm. that was in February 2020 we hated we all hated the Zoom we got right back to in person recording uh, everything was great and at that point, we're just expecting to, or I'm just expecting for our renegotiation conversation because for well over a year and a half now, I've been waiting for the right opportunity to let you know that you have valued this thing improperly the entire time. Mm. And through the course of two years, I've been watching certain actions take place that are demeaning to us, that are offensive, that is offensive to us. It is disrespectful to us. It is a slight to us. Again, you're looking at me as... Joe Budden and 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 what is happening is complete and utter disrespect not only to me and the gentlemen that are some surrounded with. It's disrespectful to all to all the people that believe in what we're doing 
all, all, all of the different areas of this network that we have built out for years. So when you come to me and say all of this stupidity, it's not just a slight to me. I have to think about my multiple production companies, crews on both coasts that add to this. This is not a Joe Budden thing. I have to think about our legal department that exists, a bunch of lawyers that we just talk to every day. Uh, our finance department, our department of accountants, our social our social team, our editors, Savon and these niggas, Pod Parasi, there's, there's way too many people to account for. So when you present me some bullshit, I'm not only thinking about myself and what it does to me, I'm thinking about what it does to my company as a whole. And you would be, you would be ill to not think of it that way because us gentlemen in this basement have outperformed every acquisition that you have acquired in a year and a half since we have been there. Gunshot, gunshot, gunshot. Hold up. <laughs> Gimlet came. We didn't budge. Number one still. Parcast came. We didn't budge. Number one still. Influx of all of these user-generated podcasts. We didn't budge. Number one still. Bill Simmons comes. It's February. We're damn near at the end of our deal. We don't budge. We're number one still. That presents a problem for Spotify. <laughs> if you're listening out there, I may have lost some of y'all. It's a problem for Spotify that these two black dudes and these two white dudes from wherever the fuck they from, I never gave a fuck about them to really find out. <laughs> have changed our entire business model. Mm. We are a music streaming platform that is not paid from music streaming. So we're finding all of these consumer-facing tricks to trick people. Mm. We've now diverted all of our energy into podcasting where we make 100% of the pie. Newsflash to anybody that was unaware out there, the gentlemen in this Astoria basement have just effectively changed the entire business model and infrastructure of one of our main DSPs. The. I know. Mm -hmm. main Sounds DSP. crazy. <clears throat> Sounds nuts. It's not a coincidence that there are podcast companies at record labels now. <laughs> hey, that's not by... That's not by chance. It's, it's a part of the chess game that is being played between the labels who have deals and equity in place with the streaming services and them. Oh, you trying to get from up under us using podcasts? Guess what we'll do? We will go and sign the fucking podcast, bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're not watching this thing accordingly, it is easy to get lost. February comes, me and Maul, me and Maul have our uh, phantoms picked out. <laughs> that matching? Hey, royal blue for me. <laughs> hey. Would you guys do like a cross color? No, and listen, Maul don't see me now. He wouldn't see me with a phantom. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know what color he was getting. Some Harlem shit. Um, Rory bought fucking a, a new engagement ring. <laughs> Everybody's just spending money that's not here. Cool, we're waiting on the renegotiation, and that's where this story will stop. To this day, I have not received a proper offer for the podcast individually. Hmm. And that's where something is off. I have not received a proper offer in isolation for the asset that has gained you nine figures in profit. It's not up for debate. So when you come to me and talk about a renewal, listen, I don't sit here for two years and just talk it. I don't sit here for two, year, two years and just preach it. Freedom is important. Absolutely. And the offer that has been presented, and let me make myself clear, there has been an offer presented of money that I have never seen in my lifetime. Money that you gentlemen have never seen in your lifetime still not enough to make you sleep right at night with what was being asked for 
audio video for the podcast, audio video for the pull up, all of Rory's rights, Maul's <laughs> rights, Park's rights, everybody's rights. Well, hold up a second, man. Yeah. <laughs> Why would I do that? <laughs> mm-hmm. Where the market stood two years ago versus where it stands today. Let me tell you something, Spotify. And creatives out there. If you are, if you are, if you are assessing this improperly. It's because you are either too busy sucking your own dick and the head is amazing. And that happens when you popping out here. Absolutely true. You could get lost in a bubble thinking that your world is the only world. Lost in the sauce. I want to take this time to shout out all of my people at all of these different companies that are tasked with making your senior level executives understand what's happening in the creative space. Hmm. There are so many of y'all where you're talking to some 70 and 80 year old white people that just might not understand. Sometimes you have to crystallize it for them. They may not get your vision. They're not the creative. They are the numbers people. It is our job to look at the energy. And while all of these podcasters searching while unemployment is at an all-time high and our country is in a disarray, are searching for just a way of means through sitting down and speaking with their friends. For me, it signifies something much bigger, much larger, and much greater than that. If I were to accept that bum-ass deal that Spotify put in front of me, I would not be able to sleep at night. I don't care how much money it is. I couldn't come in here and talk to y'all the way that I speak to y'all and be behind these doors Moving in a way that's not according. It's my words need to match my actions at all times. And again, I do not want this to come across as angry, upset, or bitter because the reality of it is we both hit our goals. Mm. Spotify hit their goal. Listen, where the stock price is today is where Joe Budden could have told you three years ago, two years ago, the stock price would be. I told y'all, I only get to have some punch when I'm the first one to it. They don't respect me enough to share with me another way. So now because I'm fucking with the, the Silicon Valley techie people, now look what you forced me to do. I got to go learn about stock. <laughs> it's a good thing. I got to go learn That's about fact, stock. Yeah. And the first thing I learned at stock and whatever I learned in smart people world, I have to equate to my, my broke people experiences and monopoly and poker. Cause it all relates there mm-hmm. for me. What I've learned in stock is have you gentlemen ever been broke, broke? Yes. 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 <laughs> and went to somebody who wasn't broke, broke. Yes. Yes. And pitched them. Yes. <laughs> oh, well, that's all I did when I was broke. broke. <laughs> and, and pitched to them about, some ideas or some problems that you have that you can use some capital to fund. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. I'll, and I'll, if I'll, this works, yeah. if this works, <laughs> if you could just loan me a G, Work. man, what I'm going to do. <laughs> hey, and sometimes if you lie good enough and pitch good enough, you can get that G right. mm-hmm. from a few different people. Yeah. That's a fact. Stock. <laughs> and, and that's Wall Street. Mm-hmm. Hey. Yeah, in a nutshell, honestly. I own a company. I'm going to go tell to all these people with money all these ideas I have for my company. And if they believe in it, the stock price goes up. Mm -hmm. The stock price is doing exactly what the stock price is supposed to be doing. Now it's gone the second we acknowledge the now. It's only in the now. (laughs) The stock price is in what you're acknowledging now. And if you're too busy sucking your own dick, or playing naive or ignorant to what's going on outside the house, you could be vastly and severely mistaken. Hmm. Or That's where I think we are today. Or think you have more leverage than you actually do when, w- you, when you're dealing with people that will leave. That's where I think we are. That's where I think we are 
today, ladies and gentlemen. We're close to three hours, and I'm sorry you're about to get a four-hour podcast. But this was important. you got to inform your people of what's going on. A lot of you have been asking, this is what's going on. I can't tell you where we're going. I could tell you where we will not be. September 23rd. If you've been busy sucking your own dick, and you've been busy only filling the headlines up with the, some of these grandiose ideas that you have fed your hedge fund people and your senior executive level staff and they buy into it, the stock goes up. And it's up. And then everybody in the company, along with the labels and everybody who actually has stock options here, put these headlines up and then they all get rich. And then I'm looking at Maul and Rory and Parks and Erickson and Savon and Alex. No. No, 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 no. You did it in music. The music business, y'all set the rules. Y'all have these artists jumping up and down because they received a plaque and a number one placement on Billboard. <laughs> and the back ends look very different. I want to get us to a place where my white and black brethren can receive back end. I want to get us to a place where we stop using that word talent for talent. Mm. It's demeaning. Mm. It's like calling you well-spoken. Mm. What does that mean? You know how to speak? <laughs> what does talent mean? Am I to assume the people that are not in front of the camera don't have talent? <laughs> yeah. Still, I'm sure you guys if, are talented. If, you guys, come on. I mean, we, if, honestly, God, if not, if not God gave every, Come on. God, God gave everyone a talent. <laughs> but you're calling me talent to keep me in this talent box. I talent, mean, talent, what talent means is you don't participate too much in the back end, nor do you really know anything about it. I'm the small percentile of podcasters that clearly understands everything that's going on. I want to do away with that word, talent. Mm. The talented people in this industry run this industry. You wouldn't refer to Nick Cannon as talent. Know why? He's proved himself in a billion dollar, with a billion dollar asset. Mm -hmm. Tell me if y'all would refer to Kevin Hart as talent. No. Tell me. If, if you do, we can talk through it. No, this is Kevin not a, is this is, this is, this is not a talent thing. And although this says the Joe Budden podcast, and you may see a crew of six, seven. There's hundreds of us. This doesn't get to be that successful of a pod without there being hundreds of us. It is a slight. It is an insult. It is offensive. And when I delve into that contract that you sent over and vowed to leave there till the end of our term. Because that money that we walked away from, it's still sitting there for us to take. Mm -hmm. Dawn Ostroff got on the phone said, hey, we love you guys. I'm going to leave this contract here for you to take. Also, Joe, how's L.A. treating you? It's energy parks. The corporate people go off in of numbers. Right. We go off for of energy. Right. So when the head of your senior level executive staff gets on the phone and says, how's L.A.? It should say something to you. Yes. It's <laughs> a good question. I mean, <laughs> let me call my L.A. people. Yeah, I, mean, I, don't know. I, I know plenty of people in L.A., I can tell you. Yeah, but if you, if you can't figure out how the nine-figure earning asset is doing in Weehawk in New Jersey, if you don't know that we're there, the yeah, Bronx, right. Journal Square, a story. If you don't know that this is where we are, then we can't negotiate. Right. It's nothing to discuss. Uh -huh. Your senior level executive staff is disconnected and out of touch. And if they're disconnected and out of touch, and I only know that because I speak to all the creators. So as soon as we ink that deal, all the creators call me to talk about their podcasting woes. They've spoken to me about some of the deals y'all have approached them about. Hmm. Y'all whitewashed them all. How you attempt to whitewash Vin Staples is beyond me. Anybody with, a, with eyes and ears can make that a hit. Mm -hmm. You whitewashed it. You took Van, who was the leading tokenized black voice at TMZ, somehow managed to put him underneath Bill Simmons, a white man at your company that you gave 250 to. 
It's off is what I'm saying. Yeah. Now, Rogan got a bag. So the fact that it's off for him will not matter. He got a bag. Right. But when you're offered something that says, hey, I know this particular asset made us nine figures, but we need that audio. We need that video. We need the pull up audio. We need the pull up video. Uh, we need ads, uh, host red ads. No, you, there's no rev share. No, we don't account for retention. Hey, you, how can you not account for retention? I used to work at the radio station. TSL is a thing. Time spent listening. When the top eight at eight come on, if I listen to the whole eight, guess what? That's valuable to the radio station, dick. <laughs> mm-hmm. For y'all to pay no mind to the amount of time that I get an audience to spend on your DSP as a minority market share holder, it is vastly mistaken. It's a mistake that you can make when you've just brought in the biggest podcast in the universe. Be clear, Joe Rogan is the exception, not the rule. Right. No yeah. podcaster out there should be comparing their numbers to Joe Rogan. None of you. Us included. Yeah. He speaks to a different demo. A larger demo. It's a different audience. Yeah, no, no, well, a larger just, demo. It's just a large, no, it's lar- it's, it's, it's to, larger. Yeah, that but, demo has more people. Yeah, but it, you know how you know, y'all know how I feel about that. There's an ecosystem in podcasting. Yeah. And if you want to join podcasting, you cannot skip certain steps. There's an entire community on YouTube. September 23rd, our YouTube videos no longer a two-day delay. We're hidden instantaneously. I know what that does. What they failed to mention is there are projections for everything in the universe. There are projections for what the Joe Budden podcast will do as not a Spotify exclusive. Let me be the first to tell you the projections are tremendous. For you guys to not be able to account for those projections, but you can tell me when 400,000 people farted throughout the course of a day, something is off. You are a tech company. You are tracking all of us. You are doing consumer-facing tricks. You are doing everything you need to do to make sure 100% of that podcasting pie comes to you. But the mistake on my part was, was thinking that a company that was robbed for so many years would then become whole and do the right thing. I'm not even going to get into what the wage disparity here is. As I've said earlier, we, with, with all due respect, we outperform Gimlet. We outperform The Ringer. We outperform all the companies that you have put there to devalue us. I come from music. My experience is being devalued. Hey, let me take it up a notch. If I never came from music, I've come from at least 10 different relationships hmm. where they took my finest attributes and stepped on them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. Yeah. Made me feel like the biggest piece of shit in the world for qualities that I felt were helpful to me. Hmm. That is where we are. Streaming, advertising, insertion. I'm going to stop there because I've been rambling for long enough. We still haven't done our toast yet. I've been I've, I've, toast, 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 right now, 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 right now. I got a cup of water. Come on. Come on. Right now, right now. Right. Well, listen, before we toast... Just so I'm not talking to air, you guys, my family, my friends, my crew, my squad, we know why we're toasting, right? Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. We don't feel bad turning down these millions, right? No. No, I actually feel We're not spending amazing. money that we didn't attain. We know what the value is. We know what the worth is. One day I want to come in here and spit that whole verse. Bleak made millions. Uh, he made millions. Maul made millions. Parks made millions. Beans will tell you if he wasn't. And, like, I want to say that. Uh-huh. Savon to tell you if he wasn't in his feelings. And you know he got feelings. Yeah. He, went back, he, went to, he went back to the Denver Club. Yeah. That's <laughs> Empty Denver Club. Come on, come on, come on. You know, I want to come in here and say that to y'all one day. And unfortunately, that will, that will not be able to happen here. And I only and let me tell you, I only lost one night of sleep when they made this offer. 
Because the one night of sleep I lost, and Ian to tell you, y'all talked to him on your own time one day, was, hey, Ian, I can afford to say no to this amount of M's. Am I making the wrong decision for my people? My crew that has not eaten the way I may have, and they may have some big plans. Niggas got wet. We got shit going on. Niggas is adults. Yeah. Am I making the wrong decision for them? That was the one night that I lost sleep. Next day, I didn't feel like that so much. Hmm. It's what I said to y'all a long time, like, like during our own shit that we won't get into. It's my job to protect y'all from some of this shit <laughs> that these DSPs are going to try. It's our history. It's our experience. Then it's silly of me to think that somebody who has been robbed their entire existence would get made whole and do the right thing. It's a mistake. Yeah. It's a mistake. Now, I'm not saying that we will not do few, uh, business in the future because we may. Please do not take this as a deterrent to Spotify. All that I'm telling you right now is that our views of where podcasting is taking us for the next five years are not aligned. And we are not in a position where I am going to succumb to any bad deal, any deal that is not working favorably toward the people that have created that path. It's just not going to happen. And back to the point of sucking your own dick. Oh, no, before we get to sucking your own dick, SAIs, we severely misvalue. You guys are building a YouTube. Mm. You were building Netflix, then you were building Amazon, and now you want video and you're building a YouTube. Why the fuck would I bring you a million people that I have blood, sweat, and tears equity into on YouTube and bring them over here after I watched what you did with the audio uh, audience? <laughs> I watched your pillage, the Joe code, promo code. When it was renegotiation time, hey, pull up the numbers from the Joe code. Know what they said? You fucking guessed it. Hey, we got hacked. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, we don't have it. Yeah. We, hey, hey, listen, yo, it's a big, uh, it's, something, it's crazy. Hey, you know it was, it was, yeah. The system. You know, yeah, 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 it just yeah, happened yeah. when you asked The system. Too. Yeah. The system. Someone hit control C. and The system. You know. The system. Yeah. Let me tell you something. On YouTube, you know what has been happening for two years on that Joe Budden podcast video in the, in the bottom right-hand corner? It says, promo code Joe, Spotify. So the promo code. I have my YouTube analytics. So God forbid that was active this entire time. You know what time it is. It's a stick up with no gun in the daytime. Of course you got hacked. Hmm. It's the reason I didn't go to title. Hey, Hove, can we get information? No. Damn. All right. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> gotta, find, gotta find another way. Yeah. If we can't get information and we can't get data and we can't get advanced analytics, then why are we here when the market has changed, Spotify? If you stop sucking your own dick for two seconds and you look outside of your own house... It would be gravely ignorant and naive to believe that some of these other huge companies with the same amount of capital that you have don't have something coming. Listen, I know I'm talking to them all. Can't tell you anything. I have NDAs. But outside, it's nice. It's nice. Yeah. I love outside. <laughs> well, I would have loved to take all of my business to one place and they value you properly and you centralize your audience. Of course. But you can't expect the people that have been getting robbed their entire career to get whole and not rob you. <laughs> yeah, it just it, it looks the robbery looks shinier because it's more money, but it's still a robbery. If you think I'm not paying any attention to the user, the consumer experience. You are sadly, sadly, sadly mistaken. And SAIs, we can move on to a different conversation now. There's nothing to discuss when you talk to me about backloading my catalog with streaming ad insertions. What that means is your RSS feed is no longer the feed. Give us another feed and we're going to layer some ads over the top of it. Mm -hmm. Back to that strip club theory. Go to the strip club, they tax you everywhere. Put your 
podcast material over here and we're going to just add a bunch of shit. We may even change the ad. It doesn't matter. People are listening, so we're going to change them. Boy, is there value there. Yeah. Last week, we had 20,000 people listen to our first episode. One. One. Episode one. No Maul. No Rory. Episode one. Wow. I remember. Just in case you need perspective on how this layout looks. Too many people out there to talk to. Too much of a profitable business. Spotify, you don't have to value it correctly. I'm a walking proof of concept. The conversations are different. Where y'all are two years removed is exactly where you want to be. And I'm grateful that where we are two years from where we started is exactly where we want to be. Of course, that's the most yeah. important part. If two years ago we could talk to everybody out there who had an eight and nine figure budget, <laughs> we would have done so. In podcasting, it does not behoove you to lock into a long term contract because the landscape can change daily, especially yeah. when you're dealing with people who have enough capital and enough power to instantaneously change it themselves. Mm hmm. I don't think I have any more for you guys today. Toast. I would like to. I would like to toast. Come on, bring it in. Bring it in, you guys. I can't. I'm okay, it's fine. It's fine. Reach. Short ass white arms. <laughs> white arms. You toast to freedom. A lot of us talk it and don't live it. It comes up in a lot of other topics, but it's only really valuable when you when it's applicable to your own life. No. My business this entire time has been ran off of what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. Spotify, you cannot tell me that podcasts are only profitable in two areas for you. Because Ian and myself have counted at least 30 different ways where this is profitable. And along with doing away with the word talent, we need to put the word licensing into its proper perspective because what licensing means, what IP ownership means is what? You guessed it. All the different stream revenues, profit revenues that exist because I own it, I want to fucking participate, bitch. <laughs> If a fucking nickel bag gets sold in the park. <laughs> Say it with me. I want in. <laughs> That's a fact. And I, yeah, bottom line is, and, and a lot of the stuff that I just said, some some of this is y'all first time hearing this this stuff, but I can't sleep at night like that. I feel you. That's what I got. How about I'm Luca? Spotify, hopefully we can talk later, man. Yeah. <laughs> we can talk later, but I got to tell you, outside is sexy. Outside is sexy. There's a lot of companies with a lot of plans that y'all are just not factoring in, which is weird, especially being a company without a hardware. Y'all are the only ones. Y'all don't have an Alexa. You're not serious. Y'all not in my fucking car. What do you have? Nothing. Back to my original question, who's the kingmaker here? The person that runs the kingdom or the person that builds it? Hmm. Answer it on your own time. I say suck my dick and fuck y'all. When the person that built it can leave and feel fine about it, that should answer your question. Yeah. When the yeah. first, when there, There's power in turning down more money than you've ever seen and being comfortable with that. So that should answer your question. Oh, man, listen, it's called oppression. <laughs> it's called oppression. It's called uh, wage inequality, wage disparity. Yeah, we didn't get there, into there's that. A yeah, yeah, it's, no, it's no, there's a bunch of words it's there. It's there. No, it's there. for all of this stuff. Hopefully I was able to provide some clarity for my audience out there. Erickson, do you think so? Yes. A little long-winded, but it's important that no, I this share is, this, this with y'all. Listen, it's too many podcasters that look up to me. It's too many podcasters that aren't privy to some of the doors that I'm able to go behind. When I talk sometimes, it's not from opinion. 
It's telling you what's happening. It's, it's, it's explaining the space out there. How you navigate that space is totally up to you. I will not let any of mine ever be robbed for their hard work. Sorry, Spotify. You are not the only DSP to exist. Actually, you're at a hindrance because what hardware do you have? Where are you taking this game in the next five years? Or are you looking to continue to pillage? Do it with them. Not with Joe.